and welcome to episode three of Zero to Hero. Um, last time out we reached level 22 and finished story for world one. Um, I didn't realise at the time I picked up another two achievements. There's going to be some free gems for us. So kill the broken dragon on normal mode and inflict two and a half million damage in a single level which the broken dragon level is brilliant for completing that achievement so 15 gems there that helps build our balance um what i want to do first since we're level 22 all the level 12 and below or level 12 gears just about obsolete anything below that is obsolete so I'm going to replace anything from level 14 and under and we'll craft new things to replace. I didn't need to do that one. Um, so even though that's an epic item, it's still better to replace it. Um, we'll get rid of that even though it's a nice top we'll unsock it everything that we are about to destroy and the sword is going as well um, because we've hit level 20 I think it was at level 20 that these became available for socketing as well so we can add some power in as well it's as soon as we get some gear crafted uh, so what I shall do is sell that one useless ring we'll go and craft uh, let's just see what we get extra gold ability rate life on hick am i allowed to fuse those yep um so that will replace the ring uh we'll salvage these and craft some new gear actually what have we what stats are we losing experience crit damage experience crit damage Do I want to make or try and make rares? I'm not sure if I need to be level one crafting. Um, so when we craft, we earn crafting experience, which fills up your mastery level. Uh, this goes up to level 50. Um, but there are certain perks that you unlock along the way. So when we reach level three, um, chance to find materials in chests is increased um, and that will keep increasing that percentage by a small amount all the way up to level 50 uh, at mastery level 5 we'll unlock optimizer so we might get slightly better stats and things that we craft scrapper's a nice one for salvaging socketer chance to get a socket's increased uh, finesse max attribute chance and a really good one at mastery level 25 is master crafter where we get a chance to gain an extra item level when we craft something um, i'll be doing a separate video on the basics of crafting um, but first of all let's craft ourselves a sword since we were using one um, so for now i can't craft a rare i have to craft the lower one and hope I get a higher level than what I had um, so as a stat let's put some experience on there so it's level 22 oh, we did unlock rare that's good in which case let's craft a rare one with experience and haste uh, how much air have we got? 15 and this is going to use 9 of them but we've got a load of essences which we can break down to lesser essence so 
we shall take that experience and haste I like a lot will equip that one um, I'm going to salvage that for now get some materials back uh, shoulders Ah uh, yes, we have hit mastery level 2, so I think it was when we hit level 2 that we start getting chances to get higher quality items. Um, I can only craft normal gear at the moment. Uh, we'll put experience on there and hope we get something better, but we didn't. Mastery, so mastery level 3, so we now get scrounger unlocked let's quit that so chest bracer boots oh, that'll do get a rare one um do the boots first since bracers elsewhere since it's done that and let me get to rare let's put on some movement speeds so we're not so slow there we are and bracer just a normal bracer with experience arcane damage um let's put on experience and I want to put haste but that we're gonna have to break down some essences I'm gonna put some ability rate on for now but we've improved our No, that one had a slot in it, never mind. So our experience gain is up to 160%, that's okay. Um, let's socket, we've got one, two, three, four, f oh, I've got to craft a hood as well. And a necklace. <laughs> How did I miss those? Okay. Armor cloth normal. Let's go have a cap, it just looks better. And we got a rare, so let's craft with vitality this time. We get a nice hat. Uh, we can salvage all the rares and below. And I can sell that necklace. And we'll make one of those with just whatever three we get from this. Vitality could actually probably help if I look at crit rate and vitality. Haste. Uh, okay, do we craft one more? See what's what. If we move things around, is it going to make any difference? It desperately wants me to not have what I want vitality and ability rate. I'll take that better than what we were being offered let's sell those um, so I can now fuse or I can now socket trillion item quality 
gemstones so we'll throw all the highest tiers that we can at this um, for now I'm going to fuse that up fuse that one up as well let's fuse that uh, how many slots have I got let's go have a bit more toughness in there okay so that's probably a unenthralling start to today's play um, but at least we've got some better gear to farm with now um, so I will pick up these two quests but we'll go and run Troll 2 first since it's unlocked so these will be level 20 enemies that we're facing I don't feel brave enough to go and tackle trial 3 just yet that said everything is dying rather quickly let them wander into that Now I do want to try and get 50,000 gold together as well. I've noticed that the recipe that's on offer is part of the Elemental Lords Regalia set. So I'm not going to refresh the recipes until I've been able to at least buy that recipe. Might be a bit extravagant use of gold at this stage of the game, but it's going to help down the line. those fiery breath because it gets more and more intense if you stand in front of it and it will kill very quickly so troll 2 done um, ooh. yeah definitely better we'll take those we can add a gemstone to those as well let's throw in even more haste okay so let us continue with a story and we're on the moon so we talk to broken dragon I was thinking about doing a silly dragon voice voice acting for that and decided against it. Some people like to talk about the story as they go along. I'm going to keep this just clicking straight through them. You can play a story in your own time. This is about trying to get the character into quite a good position. Very tanky character. <laughs> Let's go back for the chest, why not? Yeah. 
now loads of things that we want to avoid it's got some nice looking things in there but again this is a waste of gems 39 gems of things that we look really nice but we honestly don't need for a long time and we can farm those later in the game and eventually we're going to have so many of them Part of me thinks you should only be allowed to buy these extra companions from the tavern once you've unlocked the story and finished it for the map that they're on. It would make events like a new beginning very annoying. Um, especially if you're a warrior going with extra Nogrims or something or whatever his name is. How does our new hat compare? Probably not going to be getting anything better than we had <laughs> since we're now crafting gear. Um, fiery remnants, we'll plough on with story. We level 24 so we're going to probably need to craft in, well that needs replacing. We'll do this and then I need to craft a few more items. upgrading to level 6 so hopefully by the time we come to episode 4 that will be up to 7 and I'll be swapping out why did I run down there <laughs> wrong part of the map oh, it's because there is a chest down there and I forgot <laughs> and we're done It's quite obnoxious that large level up thing. They had removed it for the a new beginning event when you can get loads of levels all in one go and it's just constantly flashing in your face and you can't see what's going on. It'd be quite nice if they could tone it down for story as well. Um, oh we only need to get to the end. Let's stop wasting time and get there let's see just how tanky we are <laughs> very is the answer 
Oh, inventory's full. We'll come back and collect those in a minute. Um, so let's put gemstones away. Um, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to look too much at drops now. I'll just be salvaging them all. Since we can craft things. Let's go back through. Put the last of the drops. Um, so grey items I always sell those materials from salvaging you don't get any essences whatsoever they're just basic materials that you'll get and there's plenty of those that drop on the maps anyway and also uh, grey capes don't give any materials whatsoever if you salvage them so sell them bit of gold it's nice so fiery remnants is done gemstones yippee and we have an ambush map coming up let's open our gemstones let's see what we can do with that um what are we gonna do then one Just looking to see what's lower tier that we can improve. If we can improve any lower tier gemstones. I'll stick with it for now. Um, so what I shall do. What level are we? 25. Let's get rid of level 17. 16, 15 I'm going to go with haste and experience if I can craft them and they are belt and two trinkets so under armor belts normal still need to get a rare there we are I shall take that um, and then trinkets normal I will however go with I'll do one with vitality why not oh that was lucky we can now craft epic which makes me think shall we go with epics here so that looks nice I wouldn't normally bother with crafting epic for leveling up why did I do that? Um, I cannot socket that one. But I did have vitality, so that's all replaced anyway. That's good. Salvage that. Okay, there's about seven minutes left in this episode, so we'll just run story as far as we can in that time. So this is another ambush, like a little fire there. And wait for everything to charge me. We might end up kiting around the map this time, who knows. still quite tanky so I might just be able to stand in the middle So 
So far, so good. It's the last set of elites. And the last mob. Um, what did we achieve? 5,000 enemies. Hurrah! More gems. Aren't there any others down there flashing away, are there? No. Okay, we shall turn that quest in. We shall go and get Del's tears as quick as we can. Um, how much stuff have we got in the inventory? I think what I'm going to do is not bother crafting anything or even possibly replacing anything until level 30 now. I think the gear that we've got certainly is more than good enough for the enemies that we're facing at the moment. I will do off camera once this episode is finished is just go back and five star the maps that have been completed just for some more gems and experience but you've seen the first playthrough on all of those maps anyway so that's good Character is definitely a lot stronger than I thought it would be by this stage. Which gives me a good feeling for when we do eventually come to play a new beginning. because there's a whole load of these tier things normally I'd skip that area out altogether when doing this map As there was one there we don't need them anymore. One there. I shall know for the future whether I can still ignore that area. If there's, oh, there's one there as well. I didn't need to run up there. There would have been three in any case. flowing in very slowly so I'll just show you get absolutely nothing for salvaging grey capes so common absolutely nothing whatsoever cape gone that's why I and if it had just been a normal item, uh, any other item that was grey would have just had either iron bar or silk cloth which isn't particularly exciting material to receive which is why I always sell them take the gold instead 
Um, so, Stairway to Heaven. I think that will be the last map that we run today. Or well, certainly the last map on camera. are able to do a bit of damage so let's not pull too many this time <laughs> Frostbolt does more damage than um, the fireball. Fireball's doing AOE damage around it, so while I have a group, it's handy to fireball them, but once they get smaller numbers, we can switch to Frostbolt and, in theory, watch them go down a bit quicker. slightly overrun again never mind probably hit level 30 off camera as well so I will craft the gear for that offline off but uh, you'll get to see what it is in the next episode okay I started out saying felt really strong <laughs> I've changed my mind level 7 will make things die a bit quicker okay so level 29 one more and I shall be recrafting everything um, I'm gonna stick those in there for now just in case I run low <laughs> probably not um, the only thing that might be worth replacing no no so I'm gonna hit level 30 I'm gonna recraft all this gear off camera um, but I will put it into the next episode as to what stats we're using it should hopefully be um, blue gear across the board I don't really want to be crafting epics even because they don't last that long and they cost far more materials so thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you again next time <laughs>